Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Enterprise Project without with Astronomy. You might remember last time I talked about that I wanted to build like kind of a small shuttle craft thing we could put in this hangar here. That's actually what I've been doing. And um, problem was the whole recording kind of got messed up. So I've actually already built it and I'm going to um, to show it to you today. We're going to take it through its paces, do some testing. You might also notice this weird docking port in here. That's of course for docking it. And this is on a hydraulic arm that can be extended. So the plan is to extend this hydraulic arm, dock the spacecraft or the, sh the shuttle with this docking port. And once it is docked, we're going to pull it back into the hangar. So we don't have to sit and do fine maneuvers inside the confine of the hangar. And then once of course it's in, we can close this up and the ship can be on its way. But let's just load up the spacecraft that I've built or the shuttle so you can see what I came up with. And here it is. It's a little weird here with this like launch platform because, well, I needed it to be a sub-assembly so I potentially could move it over to the other craft later. You might also notice that this looks nothing like a shuttle. It looks more like a ballistic missile. One of the problems I had was, as you can see here, I have landing legs on it rather than landing gear like wheels. And that was that because it is so tiny and the wingspan, I was forced to keep that so confined. That's why I've gone with this X shape here to get more lift without going for wider wings. So the wings span pretty much the full length of the craft, but I'm trying to confine them with as little width as possible. But this also means that it is very unstable on landing gear um, and has a tendency to roll over the side. I even had it roll like nose over tail or tail over nose, like do a front flip basically. So here we have it, Valentina in the craft itself. And we have Bob in the small control capsule down here. So we can just quickly decouple this like so and then we should be able to take this and set the target angle to something like that so that's out of the way we can then switch over to the other craft sas on we have valentina in here and now we're ready for launch one thing you may notice is it actually flies quite well in an atmosphere you can see our probe rate note here how that is following us along quite nicely and we have obviously because it's almost rotational symmetric that means even if we cut off the engines which has a lot of gimbal we have quite a bit of control both yaw wise which is often an issue i think but also per pitch wise but let's just try to uh, get a little bit thrust back here pull this out of this dive here Like so, and then I'll show you what uh, what I came up with in terms of landing. At least I'm very happy with the aerodynamic stability of this. But uh, I'll get some altitude, put some energy into this thing, and uh, then we'll try to see if we can uh, can land this thing. I'm going to slowly begin to pull this out of this dive here. And that is going to cost us a bit of energy, but that's okay. And the plan is that just before you land, you go into a rather fast dive, and then you begin to pull this thing, pull the nose up. So give it a bit of thrust here at the end. And you pull this up almost vertical. There we go. And as we go vertical. Like so. We can deploy the parachutes before the whole thing flips around. Okay, a little late on the parachute there. There we go. But the plan is that when you can go vertical, you deploy the parachutes, you can now deploy the landing gear, and this thing will set itself down um, quite nicely. It's not the most elegant solution when it comes to landing a shuttle, um, having it come down in parachutes, but it's better than it rolling over and breaking up into a million pieces on impact. Let's try to get this thing into uh, into orbit, and I'll show you the whole rendezvousing with, uh, with uh, the Enterprise. So here we are in space looking over the USS Enterprise and the first thing we have to do of course is to set that as our target. We're just quickly going to verify that the Enterprise is in fact ready for docking. It is. We can see docking port is open and or the, the docking hangar is open and the docking port is extended. So uh, switch back and we've set this to relative to target. 
Nice. Okay, so as you can see here, the docking port is on the back. So what we have to do is, of course, first get this thing somewhat aligned up with, uh, with where we want to dock, at least get it pointing in the right direction, like so. Then we're going to set the control point now at the docking port, reversing the whole thing. And we're going to change our target to that docking port there. We have a little bit of thrust now. We can see our prograde node here, so we just have to try and align that up. with the target like so and now we should in theory be on a perfect course to dock with that port we have a little bit of a hit there apparently okay oh it is a little finicky let's move this up then So, and then begin to reverse into the hangar. As you can see here, there is not a lot of space here. But I think if we're very careful here, there we go. That was the docking. Let's turn off RCS again. So now we should be able to take this and pull this thing back in. Like so. Nicely docked in the hangar. Close this thing up. And that's a successful docking. Let's actually try to do the reverse thing and see if we can get this thing to undock again. So we're going to open up. The hangar. We're going to, if I could f catch that hydraulic and set up action groups for this. We're gonna extend that thing out. Spacecraft's coming out of the, of the hangar. We're gonna undock it. And there's a little bug in the game, it seems. You can see here we still have both Valentina Kerman and Jebediah both as part of the same craft even though they are undocked. Um, I had this before and I don't know how to solve it. You can clearly see here we have Valentina sitting in the shuttle and also we have Jebediah here sitting in the main craft but if we go in here it begins to spin out of control it seems. Or something is spinning out of control. I have, by the way, I'm not moving anything right now. Hands is off the keyboard. Okay, there we go. Now I've figured out what's going on. Okay, clearly something is is a little broken <laughs> when it comes to undocking, but it's clearly undocked. It's out there. It's in space. So if it wasn't for the small box, I would call this uh, a su successful undock. And everything is jittering around. Let's just close this up before the whole thing detonate and explode. This. This thing has a tendency to explode at random times. I think I'm gonna call that for uh, for today. This was a fun little project. Um, I don't think I'm gonna continue this um, at this point, but if you wanna see more Kerbal Space Program, well, please let me know in the comment section. I am planning to do more of it later. Um, maybe begin to build some really dangerous ships in Kerbal. That could be fun, I think. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I will see you guys in space.